this is Chrissy cooking at home. I'm she. I'm her. I am Chrissy. Ugh, make sure that microphone's in. I guess I'm nervous with it. So here it tells me it's better audio, but I've had it where it wasn't in quite all the way and there would be no audio whatsoever and the whole video would be ruined. You'd get nothing. You would get nothing from me. Well, anyways, Today is not about cooking. Today is one of my crazy, weird, rambling videos called Life Update. Have you seen my other Life Update videos? What do we do in a Life Update video? <laughs> Dishes. I have lots. Lots. So much has been going on. I am so behind on posting videos. I thought I had more going up. I do not. I have a video I'm in the middle of editing that I had to stop editing a couple of weeks ago. <laughs> It's just sitting there. It's a project. So I thought while I was doing here, doing the dishes, I'm like, oh my gosh, I haven't talked to you guys in a while. I don't even know if you guys watch these videos. I might just be talking to dead air. I don't know. But maybe somebody wants to know what's going on. Uh, so, you know, Logan's homeschooled. So we finished our homeschool year and we're starting up a new homeschool year because homeschool runs 365 days a year and it is um, based on how many hours of instruction you do and now that he's in seventh grade per New York State he needs 990 hours in 365 days uh, the year from July 1st to June 30th so it's now August so I have submitted, of course I'd submitted all my paperwork by June 30th. I was all done, of course, by June 30th, because I'm a little hyper-prepared, hyper-organized. And then I have until August 15th, yeah, the 15th, to do what's called an IHIP, an Individualized Home Instruction Plan. Okay. So I got that done and submitted. The other thing I'm doing is a homeschool co-op. I'm forming one. I have a tickle. I have a tickle. Right on the side of my nose. Right underneath my glasses. Anyways, a homeschool co-op with some lovely homeschool mamas that I met. Rose and Kira. And Kira knows some other homeschool mamas who are, I, I'm taking are fairly new to the homeschool world. Um, and they're probably feeling like I felt when I was new to the homeschool world. Huh, overwhelmed. And from what I gather, we all have different homeschool techniques because the great thing about homeschooling is that you can do it this, in a way that suits your child's learning abilities. See, Logan, being autistic, learns differently than your neurotypical child. He was not able to keep up in public school, no matter how much support they said they were throwing at him. He was far behind, really far behind. But he's catching up beautifully. So this homeschool co-op, we're going to meet one day a week. We're each going to teach something, except for one of the mamas. She's not quite sure what she can contribute as an individual class. So we've convinced her what would be great is that she be like a teacher's aide, a teacher's assistant to assist all of us in uh, kind of corralling kids, keeping them under control, focused, assisting in uh, the art class, and I will be teaching. Get ready for this. Cooking. Can you imagine me cooking? Is my sarcasm coming across? It doesn't usually. Um, I'm going to be honest. I'm, I'm really excited. Like, really excited to teach children some cooking life skills. You know, the basics. Start with the basics. First class will be safety. Uh, knife safety. 
uh, cooking equipment safety, fire safety, um, stove and oven safety, that kind of goes along with fire safety, um, proper measuring techniques. So that's the first class. I know it's not fun, but it's so crucial. Second class will be fun. I'm going to do crazy cake cupcakes for this. I'm going to get cute little cookbooks. Um, not cookbooks, um, recipe boxes. And we're going to have the art teacher, Rose, do like decorating them with the kids as an art project. And um, that'll be that'll be good. I'm going to get some aprons for them. Depending on the material, they may or may not decorate their aprons. I've already started ordering some individual cooking supplies, equipment for them. We'll put those in there. Um, so, why do I have so many dishes? Well, let me tell you. I spent a feverish weekend trying to impress these mamas with my cooking. And I didn't need to. It was like an internal weird thing that I was like, I, I want... I want them to have faith in me that I, I have the abilities still in me. I haven't forgotten everything that I, I have the ability to teach their children basic cooking that they can carry on through their lives, whether it be just chopping a salad and boiling spaghetti or that they will grow and develop more culinary skills to explore it and develop their own recipes for their families later in life whatever it be, basic skills to, to build upon or just have basic culinary skills to be able to feed themselves <laughs> beyond microwaving something. So in my quest to set out to overly impress, I made from scratch French croissants and puff pastries. Now I have a puff pastry recipe. I have not done a video on it. I have not made it in two years until this weekend. Turned out perfect as usual. I uh, cut them in a way to make them pretty and uh, filled them, I don't know if I have any left. Filled them with, uh, center with some uh, cream cheese mixture. And then once they came out of the oven, I topped them with a little bit of fresh berries that I did a simple syrup glaze and then just brushed that over the entire pastry. And then um, the French croissants, I had to look up a recipe. Nope, there's no puff pastries left. Logan really likes those. All that's left is I took the scraps and I cut them into little triangles. And I did an egg wash and then I sprinkled them with some pink sugar. <laughs> and then when they came out, I also brushed them with a simple syrup glaze. And then the um, French croissants. Let me try to find a bread knife. I don't have one there, so. I hadn't done croissants in over 20 years. So I did four batches to kind of brush up my skills. Even though I've done the laminating just two years ago, laminating, uh, folding the butter into the dough. Now with croissants, you only laminate twice, but still it, they're finicky doughs, but it still came out perfect each time. So I'm very happy. And then I made, um, for one of the mamas, she avoids um, meat and dairy due to health conditions. So I made, um, since there's <laughs> pastries are loaded with dairy, I made my banana snack cake. Go watch the video. It's fantastic. There's no dairy. There's no eggs. So some banana snack cake I made for her. But I didn't realize she was doing also intermittent fasting to control her weight. So she took some home. I haven't heard from her um, to see if she liked them. But the mamas who did try it, the banana snack cake, loved them. 
I hear Miss Nellie. But in the process of trying to impress them, I, I dirty almost every single dish in my kitchen at least 10 times. I was constantly washing dishes. And then I finished uh, yesterday morning right before the meeting and flew to the meeting and then flew home, made lunch, flew to um, an hour and a half away to Logan's diabetes appointment for his follow-up. We go every three months. I think she's just fussing in her sleep. I'm going to rinse some dishes. BRB. Okay. I BRB because I watched some of my, in editing my previous, um, life update video and the rinsing. Y'all can't hear a word I'm flipping saying. All you can hear the water running. You can barely make out a word I am saying. So I pause. I rinse. I unpause. So we flew to Syracuse and went to his appointment. And um that went really well. They did some adjustments for his feeding, for feeding pump. <laughs> no, that was Georgie. Um, and uh, his insulin pump, and uh, which is great. And then um, I came home. I was just utterly exhausted and in so much pain. And I'm still in pain. But, you know, dishes have to be done. And the house needs cleaned. And the baby needs taken care of. And... And now I have to sit down and I need to do this lesson plan. But I also need to make more puff pastry for Mr. Logan because I promised. And I have it started, but it takes four hours approximately. And you got to babysit it like every 30 minutes. You can't let it sit too long in the fridge. You can't let it sit too long outside the fridge. So it is a process. You gotta babysit it, and I gotta be able to babysit it. And then I also need to make some pickled um, hot Hungarian hot peppers for a sweetheart. I was able to get a great deal on some. And they're in the bag behind me. I need to sit and cut and deseed them and make the pickling brine and then pan them. Now, the recipe that I got was from his great aunt, Mary Lou. She passed away. Um, a few years ago and quite a few years ago and she never canned it she just made it stuck it in a jar left it on the counter never put it in the fridge I can it according to the National Center for Home Food Preservation for pickling when it comes to pickling things pickling peppers so I follow her recipe with the vinegar and the oil and the seasonings um, Especially when it comes to the vinegar. Made sure I got 5% acidity because there's been an issue with the acidity, I guess. Um, which when I went, did go to grab the vinegar after I grabbed the peppers, I was like, that's 4%, that's 4%, that's 4%. I can't get 4%. So I had to get like we have four or five small bottles instead of a gallon. Because all the gallons were 4%. But like, that's a really awesome price. Five bucks instead of the 20 at the other store. But... I can't use 4%. What, what the flipping good is that for me? <laughs> None. And then off that website, Timu, that I've talked about where I've gotten free stuff, and I'm wearing one of my free dresses now, um, I got my free ice cream maker that I won off of Fishland. It took me five weeks, and I won it. And I've made three batches of ice cream, so I need to get another batch of ice cream going because the, the guys are really loving the ice cream, Logan and Sweetheart. I've done a dark chocolate Oreo, mint chocolate chip, and in the freezer that I did yesterday as soon as we got home is a chocolate peanut butter swirl with Reese Cups. Today I think is going to be coffee. Either coffee or graham cracker. So, you know. Let's see my ice cream maker. Hold on. Just rinse my fingers. I'm 
I'm not going to take my gloves off. I'm just going to dry my gloves a little bit. I have to wash all the parts to my ice cream maker because even there's still some chocolate there. So that's going to go in the sink. But um, here is the shiny canisters. 2.1 liters. Um, cute little motor with a timer and then paddle okay it's just it. the canister for you know freezing the ice cream is in the freezer doing its thing some people really hate this kind of ice cream maker because the canister has to sit in the freezer for 8 to 12 hours minimum but you know, I can't do the hand crank kind. I don't have a freezer that makes ice cream. I don't have a way to get, uh, if I got a freezer that made ice cream to hook up to a water supply line to make ice cream. So it is what it is. So I like this kind. It doesn't take up a whole lot of room in the freezer, honestly. I'll get a second batch of ice cream going. Yeah, it goes. Honestly, this cleans up so good. I mean, I, I just put this in here and the chocolate is just wiping right off. So I get the base going and get it cooled and then I can get it turning. Honestly, for me, the hardest part is not the cooling the canister because pop it in the freezer while you're sleeping. That works for me. Might not work for others and that's cool. It works for me. The hardest part for me is waiting for the egg base to cool before I add my cream and put it in the frozen canister. That's my problem. I'm ready for it to go in the canister. Start turning. No, be patient, Chrissy. Come on, if you can spend three days making croissants, two days making puff pastry, because technically puff pastry is ready two hours after I finish the turns, the laminating. It needs uh, six, what, six turns, six laminates, laminating. Um, if I can wait, and I like to let it sit instead of two hours, I like to let it sit overnight, let that gluten rest. If I can wait two days for puff pastry and three days for croissants, and I can rush croissants to two days, why can't I wait an hour or two for the egg base to cool in the fridge? Seriously, what is my problem? <laughs> Excitement, that's my problem. Seriously, excitement. I mean, who wouldn't be excited? It's a new toy. And the, the guys, they love ice cream so much. And I was spending so much on ice cream and it would be gone like that. I made three batches of ice cream and they're gone within like, within like 16 hours. They're like gone. So, yeah, handy dandy, free, electronic, ice cream maker, gonna rinse. Okay, I think we're getting somewhere. I need to take care of my wings here. I cringe when I want, well, not when I want, but I don't want to do the dishes when there's so many from a baking excursion that I just let pile up because I was, you know, in a hurry. I was just getting the, I had to get the croissants done and I had to get the puff pastries going because I wanted them to be freshly baked before I flew off to the meeting. And the meeting went well. I think it did. They, they seemed, they seemed impressed by the food. Um, but, yeah. Oh boy, what did I get myself into? Like my anxiety needs more. I'm not anxious over the kids, and I should be, because kids are brutal, man. Brutal. I'm anxious over the moms. And they're really nice women. Why am I anxious over the moms? Because I'm weird. I am, I am so weird. But yeah. 
that's pretty much it in a nutshell. Life update. And I hear Miss Nellie, she's definitely up now. So uh, it's been 20 minutes of rambling. That's the life update. Been busy, busy, busy forming co-op with a couple of wonderful ladies and drew in a couple of other wonderful ladies to bring um, their homeschool kid, kiddos in. Um, sweetheart will be teaching history as well. So it'll be a lovely Monday. And then, um, got Logan's eye hip done. Woohoo! Um, I'm the only one of the co-op moms that has it done. <laughs> they were impressed by my spreadsheets. They put me in charge of the money. Uh, so I showed them those working spreadsheets through Excel. Um, yeah, it's a lot. But it's one day a week for just a few hours. And I think it'll be good for all of our kids to have that kind of normalcy that you get from public school, but it's, it's not, it's more free flow. It's more catered to each individual child's learning um, method, the way they learn. So it'll be good. And I will be doing some videos for you, I promise, I promise, okay? But go check out the banana snack cake video. And if I do the puff pastry today, I'll do that video today. Definitely doing the peppers today, so I'll do that for you. Aunt Mary Lou's hot pickled, hot Hungarian hots is what she called them. So, so until next time.